develop electrically powered systems to boost the performance and reliability of tomorrow's aircraft. That's the major challenge facing the aircraft industry, and it's one of our key missions at Safran. Welcome to the more electric aircraft. Like any vehicle, an aircraft needs auxiliary power, in the same way a car needs a battery to power its windshield wipers, dome light, electric windows. Four types of energy are used to power systems on today's aircraft. Mechanical, hydraulic, pneumatic, and electrical. They provide the power needed for flight control to manage energy production by engines and generators. To manage aircraft configuration like the actuation of landing gear and brakes. For passenger comfort and services. And for air conditioning and pressurization. In 2005, we launched an ambitious R&D program to develop technologies and products for these new generation aircraft, called More Electric. Over 100 engineers are working on these projects throughout the Safran Group, and we invest tens of millions of euros every year. Almost a decade ago, we invested in the Copper Bird test rig, developed with the support of the European Union. Copper Bird plays a pivotal role for Safran and its partners in testing proposed designs and technologies for tomorrow's more electric aircraft. Because of efforts like these, Safran is now turning this advanced concept into reality. The Airbus A380 Super Jumbo Jet, for example, is fitted with the world's first electrical thrust reverser actuation system, dubbed ETRAS. And the brand new Boeing 787 will feature electric brakes, controlled by our EBAC unit. For the new Airbus Military A400M airlifter, the EBMA Electrohydraulic Unit provides standby extension and retraction of the landing gear doors. Most recently, our electromechanical actuator for the A320 aileron, the EMA, was successfully tested in flight. These innovative technologies will deliver a host of advantages, starting with higher reliability than today's hydraulic and pneumatic systems. They also save weight since different systems can share the same computers and electronics. Lower weight translates into reduced fuel burn and or greater payload capacity. At the same time, energy consumption is reduced by more carefully controlling the allocation of resources. And we will cut maintenance costs and increase dispatch reliability because electrical systems are faster and easier to repair. These technologies are reaching maturity and developments are proceeding full steam ahead. Everybody in the group is focused on these goals, especially through the Safran Power Electronics Center, or SPEC, and our Ampere Research Program, involving nearly every company in the Safran Group. Projects are already taking shape, covering electric landing and braking systems, auxiliary power units to meet electrical energy needs, electrical power extraction and generation, distribution and management systems, electrical wiring systems, electric flight control actuators, more electric engine and nasal architectures. And back down on the ground, we're developing Green Taxiing, a proprietary electrical traction system that offers a substantial improvement in operational efficiency. Building on our proven expertise, technologies, and global vision with companies operating around the world. Sephron is leading the way for all electric onboard power on the next generation of aircraft. <laughs>